It was April 15th, 2009. Hannah Montana the movie had just hit the theaters. The sweet voices of Kesha and Flo Rida were in the air. Everyone's mom was playing Farmville on Facebook, and a user named Creepyblog uploaded a video to the up-and-coming website YouTube. A disturbing video that would haunt many people of my generation. A video that would go on to eventually get 24 million views before being removed. That video was called I Feel Fantastic. I could describe it to you, or I could just show you a clip. The video was shrouded in mystery, and theories began to flood the internet. The description under the video was a strange reference to Greek mythology. I'll read part of it to you. What you're about to watch is a mysterious video. Its origin is attributed variously and almost certainly spuriously to various abstract artists or surrealists. The truth is that what we are seeing and what we perceive to be strange and disturbing is actually beauty to its creator. Perhaps what we are viewing is the work of a modern Pygmalion. To him, her toneless voice, the paleness of her skin, and the comparative vibrancy of her lips may indeed be the embodiment of a perfect woman. Consider the mindscape of the creator. In whose mind does this appear beautiful? In whose mind is this pure, near worshipful? Are we missing out on his perspective? Who are we to be afraid or to judge them? He may well love her fully, perhaps more fully than any of us could ever hope to be loved. In the mind of her creator, she is a near goddess, the perfect representation. Not just a femininity, but the peak of human potential, a perfect, satisfactory being. Being. How does that kind of unconditional love feel? Well, how does she feel? Fantastic. As if that description wasn't cryptic enough, the cameraman would periodically add in footage throughout the video of a random backyard, zooming in on what is seemingly an unremarkable spot in the yard. Many people believe that the area in the yard could possibly be the burial site of one of his victims. Lots of people, including me at the time, theorized that whoever uploaded this video unalived the woman, buried her in his yard, then created a robot in her likeness, using the real woman's clothes on the android. Some people believe the video is cursed. One Reddit user, called BillyMark6069, wrote in the Creepypasta subreddit, Bro, I don't know what kind of school project this is, but it creeps me the hell out. Some people are telling me that something will happen to me if I finish watching the whole video. People began doing research and discovered that videos of Tara had actually been online since 2004, on an Android form run by a man named John Bergeron. He had originally designed the Android for entertainment and research purposes, but then later decided to make her a musical singing robot and would later sell DVDs of her music videos. On the website androidworld.us, some information can be found about Tara and her creator. Tara was built by John Bergeron back in 2003 and 2004. John was trying to bootstrap the Android industry just as I have been trying to do. She's a bit primitive, but that is to be expected given the tiny budget available to John. In 2004, John made a music video of Tara singing. Some folks think it's creepy, but I just think it's a little spooky. You can buy this music video here for $11 in the US and $19 outside the US. I currently have no email address for John Bergeron. John seemingly dropped off the face of the earth after uploading these videos of Tara, which only added to the mystery and theories that were circulating around the internet. People started saying that perhaps after making the android, she turned on John and he became her victim. A YouTuber by the name of Truth is Scarier Than Fiction has done a lot of research on Tara and her creator, and I highly recommend checking out his page. He posted a video one year ago where he provides evidence that John most likely passed away in 2005 which would explain his disappearance after the android he built blew up on the internet. Still, even with the internet sleuths trying to get as much information on Tara and John as possible, the story is still very mysterious and we definitely don't have any explanations for everything. What was with those random shots of the yard? 
What do you make of all this? Do you remember watching this when it first came out in 2009? Make sure to leave a comment letting me know what your theory is about Terror the Robot. Also, if you like this sort of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm still a relatively small channel and your support really does make a difference. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.